saw Lingren out there in full contact. Just is, is he? I know he's still on IR, obviously. Is he a possibility for Thursday? Uh, nothing's changed on his status. So um, great to have him out there today and um, and competing. But it was just a pregame skate as well. Yeah. We want to see him in a full practice before. Yeah, I mean, it'd be it'd be great when guys can come off of you know being out for a while and get into practices. I always think that's beneficial. What's the fine line when you have you know the weight that's generating offense, but yet you want to make sure you're you know, focused on defensive chances too? Yeah, I mean, I said it the other night. And, you know, a three-on-three goal, a four-on-four goal, especially the team's goal, you know, overtime, and so there's. It's it's and then five on five as well. You know, there's a couple chances. The first goal, we got to be better. There's things we could have done. We talk about it. We show it. We talk about it. it. wasn't a it wasn't a volume or onslaught of chances against. It's just the ones that we gave up. You know, no goaltenders are going to stop some of those. They're just they're too big, and so we got to quiet that down. But those are the things we work on between practices. So I'd like to stay attacking, but there's definitely things that you know we could have done. I think just. Different or better defensively. Peter, uh, you know, we've asked you a lot about fitting Riley Smith in with Mika and, and Chris. Uh, but what have you seen from not only from that line, but specifically with Mika? I noticed a, at the stat sheet the other day um, a minus four in, the, in that game. How's he playing? I mean, what, what have you seen from him specifically? So I thought that, um, you know, the first game against Pittsburgh, I thought they were real good that line. Uh, they had had some really good moments. Um, in the exhibition as well, where they, their line was good, the numbers were good, they were generating the chances for where we wanted to be. It was pretty tight defensively. They were doing a lot of good things. Um, not speaking about any one player in particular, but it was a little bit off the mark yesterday with regard to just some of the ways we defended. And I think as a general, in most of the clips, you can't just point to one person and say, well, this guy made a mistake. It was a, it was a group effort on what we could have done better. And um, you know that that line, or he was caught out there for a few of those. So those are the things that we talk about and teach inside the game. Um, you know, still, uh, again, offensively, that line included, we're doing good things. We just got to maintain that and get a little better defensively. Two games in, he doesn't have a point, though. Is that still too early to worry about that, or is that? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, Mika wants to create. Wants to create. I do think his line is creating. Um, and so I think it's I think it's a matter of time before it finds a score sheet or he finds a score sheet. Peter, in regards to Capo, you know, so talk about one player. But what have you seen since the start of camp from him, and maybe even a bigger picture? Like what does he have to prove? Well, I think he's looking. For, you know, last year you know, was a lot. I, I mean, you know, he said it, I said it, Wolf said it. There's I think there's more there, and so um, every day is an opportunity to prove that. Um, I do feel like his line is playing well and in a position to make a difference in the games now. He looked good at training camp, um, his line, and he looked good right now. I feel really good about sending them out on the ice and thinking that there's a chance that we can create and be successful offensively as well as defensively. So um, I definitely think that when you don't have the year that you want and you come back the next year, anybody, um, I think there's an opportunity to fix that. and and. You know, come back and, as you said, prove that you know you're you can do more than that. And from his eyes or from mine, it doesn't matter. I feel like um, a new year is a new opportunity. In, to, in regards to that line, though, I mean, obviously you you trust it, you like it. What is what do you see from that? Those three together, like, why do you think they work well? Together? If you if you look at some of the shifts, if you look at the shift where they scored a goal, I mean, they playing just outright outworked the opposition. They're big and they're strong and they're talented. They move the puck, they move for each other, they possess the puck for a long time and eventually wore them down. And it's not just that one shift, there's been multiple shifts where we feel like that line has done that. Um, so if continue, I think just continuing to try and implement themselves um, with their speed, with their size, with their skill, their physicality, um, I feel like it can be a real dangerous line. Sticking with that line, do you feel like you're still getting to know Filipino as a player just because of how much time he missed last season? And does that at all influence how you approach him as a coach or coach him as a player at this point? No, it's probably just, you know, back to where we were last year. There just wasn't a lot of time. And so it's as I came in new to the organization, it's probably the same mindset of getting to know him, um, you know, both on the ice and off the ice. But I, 
more so than other players. It's not like I don't know anything because that wouldn't be true. I went through a training camp. There was games. There was a playoff run. There's another training camp now, so it's not completely like last year. But with regard to some of the other players and time spent, um, I think there's definitely more time invested with other players just by the nature of the year that he had. Um, what I've seen, I've liked. I mean, it's been he's been really good with the puck, fast through the neutral zone, attacking, uh, dangerous to make plays, dangerous with his shot, and uh, a part of the line that, that you're just talking about. And so I, there's been a lot of promising things. Anything stick out um, from last year to this year with Detroit that made a difference? I mean, they're, they're skilled. They probably added a little bit to that. Um, some young players that are a year older, um, even some veteran players with a lot of skill. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to have to be sharp defensively. It's another good test for us just to try and calm things down and quiet things down with regard to defense.